Hey what's going on guys, Kamenki and Z here. In this video we're going to be testing 8050 computer with basic 52 interpreter designed and assembled by my friend Dominic Bambaka, which is sent me from US. We just, we just have a look, what a beauty it is, what a nice PCB here. Okay, so now let's try to turn it on and it works. Now in order to, well it, it, does, uh, it does use the 9 volt power supply and now to make it work we actually need to connect uh, the RS232 uh, cable and on the, one height, uh, on the one side plug it into the computer itself and on the other hand plug, plug it into the laptop right so now the most interesting parts uh, we're going to be using the potty here in order to talk to this computer All right yeah just this big and nice and generally it should be work exactly the same so uh like it stated on the back of the computer we need to uh, type space to start work with this and then okay so we are in basic already which is good so let's try to print hello uh so yeah the proper way of doing things probably would be just to um find the documentation for this 52 basic interpreter but uh, I, I prefer just tinkering uh, right uh, straight ahead just just to make just to have like a sense of what is this and how it works so well first I'm wondering if uh, if the lowercase uh, is actually working it does work which is good okay so um, okay another thing so what I would be wondering uh okay let's go for variable assignment okay now it works so does it does it have uh multiple uh variables or not so let's see so if we print a it goes 10 and print a as d it goes 12 which is which is good so probably it does allow to have the variables like uh several several letters which which makes it really fantastic so okay like for instance let's go yeah i'm wondering if i can say like this so let name is equal to uh yeah probably delete is not going to be working i believe uh cmk yeah probably yeah delete is not working well that's that's okay that's fine so let go again so let name equals to code monkey king all right and whoa 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 something wrong with the syntax uh, uh is this gonna work print a okay let oh maybe it doesn't load to save the strings i'm wondering a equals to okay so it doesn't load uh, to store this trends like this uh well uh, on the Sinclair basic i remember there was this like variable definition so if we say strain for instance and try to define it like so no it doesn't work either well okay that's not a big deal so what else um anyway uh we can probably say uh like number equals to one two three is this gonna work okay that's that's nice um yeah uh i'm a little bit it's a little bit strange so yeah is this actually capable of storing strings or not but anyway well okay so list works but we didn't yet store anything so that's that's pretty okay so it shouldn't be loading any anything or saving yeah because yeah that's that's pretty okay so clean screen uh clear clear um yeah probably works but yeah for some reason the terminal is not getting updated but that's not really that big deal okay um so another thing i'm really wondering yeah, so let's try to see if the for loop works, for instance. So for, let's say, n equals 0 to, let's say, 10. Uh, let's print n and next 
and so if we now list the program yeah it works so now let's run run okay so it's quite fast it is quite fast okay um uh, let's list again I'm wondering um, is this actually capable of print let's say n then n plus one so is the comma going to be resulting in tab uh yes i just malform things so i'm sorry I need to retype so n n plus one for instance and let's say n multiply by two okay list uh list so yeah you see like it has been updated here so let, well, let's try and run okay so yeah it's it probably i'm not sure is this the tab so this pro this should be something like tab apparently which is good and another thing i'm wondering is print um and and now uh is this syntax gonna be working actually n plus one and multiply by three let's say and run okay bad syntax in line 20 yeah so this oh whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, this this was my bad okay let's one more time print and n plus one and multiply by three okay and run yeah it still doesn't like something so yeah maybe this is not the case this 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 is still just okay so maybe just comma separated values are fine here okay so the next thing i'm really wondering about is the pick and poke commands because those are that can actually uh, rely on the whole memory that is available there and we also need to check the arrays uh by the way as well so is dim gonna be working array size okay so dim works fantastic so dim 10 okay air array size okay dim uh what am i doing wrong here maybe hold on a sec uh maybe like this nope a equals mm. yeah uh there should be a way to there should be a way to define the array in some somehow so yeah D dim stands for dimensions i believe and it should be well we're quite sure Okay, I just find, found some syntax in 664 basic. Well, I'm not sure. It is definitely it shouldn't be the same. Yeah, but probably I actually should to uh, name the array at some point. So let's, mm, let's try deem a <coughs> like this. Okay, what a nice thing. Yeah, it seems like. So if I now print, for instance, uh, a and zero okay print a and one okay so it's all it's probably defines all there all, all zeros which is which is good so we have we have this array definition and uh, array like this uh, should also be working so print array okay and i'm wondering um can we so the, the there is something like so is this actually possible to to define a string in this way like something like this uh okay so it's probably probably not allowed but anyway so yeah i still need still need to make a bit of research on this but we have the arrays, which is which is good. So, for instance, um, uh, if we say, uh, I'm wondering, array zero is equal to one, two, three. Array array one is equal to four, four, four. And now, if we print, uh, okay. 
array zero. And indeed, it does save. So it does, so the arrays can work, which is fantastic. So this opens a whole load of, a lot of opportunities already. And here should be 444. Fantastic. OK. Um, now another little thing that I want to try. So let's uh, do the following pro program. So 4n equals to 0 to, let's say, 20. And then I want to print array indexed by n. Right, and it only has 10 elements. I'm wondering, is this going to uh, slide through the memory uh, or not? It probably it should. And let's try and run this. Okay, it gives an error. Well, this is interesting. So it has a sort of a memory protection, I believe. So array size in line 20. Yeah, so it just doesn't allow you to uh, go above that, which is good, which is really good. Um, Okay, so in this case, uh, let's actually try to go for pick and poke. So this should be taking the absolute memory addresses. Uh, <laughs> okay, so did something wrong, I believe. Uh, so what's the proper syntax? Well, uh, I'm not sure if uh, the C64 wiki actually helps here or not, but... Uh, yeah, it should be like, oh, it just, uh, maybe it needs some statement. Uh, maybe it needs some statement. So let's try to print peak and zero. Okay. All right. So in this case, uh, so now let's list the program. And uh, 20, let's say instead print peak and n. All right. So list and run. What array size? Well, this is a bit strange. Array size in line 20. Mm. Hmm. Wondering, can I list one line? Nope. Well, doesn't matter. Okay. Um. Uh, I'm not sure what's actually going wrong there. So print, we just print an list, all right. And so yeah, it does, so the loop works. So I'm wondering, um, what's actually wrong with this? So it prints kind of first 10 elements for some reason. And then, well, okay, um, maybe I can just reset the computer. So hold on a sec, I just reset this. All right. And again, does nothing happens here for some reason, but, uh, yeah. So it has been reset successfully now. There is nothing there in the memory, which is good. So let's try again. 4 n equals to 0 to 20. Print peak n. And next n. And run. Well, this is strange. Uh, to be honest, I have no idea why... Why is that happening? So let's say, let's try manually pick and nine, for instance, and print pick 10 and print pick 11. Okay, er array size error. Hmm. Well, peak shouldn't be relying on the array. It should be actually being able of getting the value from whatever memory we want. Like, for instance, like, I don't know, 
whatever bite yeah but for some reason well this is a bit strange okay um let's try to poke then so we try and run the, the value to uh 10 0 i'm not sure which one bad syntax okay poke 10 let's say one nope so what's the syntax for poke uh well actually yeah just probably no no parenthesis there hmm so this is interesting uh yes yeah, still something wrong with the poke syntax mm, not sure yeah i have no idea what am i doing wrong here to be honest yeah so that's another thing that uh, we need to to figure out like how the poke works and probably one last thing uh yeah so first of all wondering uh does it evaluate the expressions things like it does but it doesn't print them okay um and can we uh yeah so we can assign the variables just like this as, as okay and i'm wondering can we do we have the floating points here print and we do and this is this is really amazing okay so and let's say this case print 0 0.5 minus uh, something like this okay so yeah just doesn't print the print the zero but the rest should be quite quite nice okay so it's not really that bad for start so i just need to make sure how the poke works and uh, uh, uh actually if so let's list again so let's actually trying to that uh, one last experiment so let's say i make an array so dimension array of say 20 elements okay and then in line 20 i want to print not peak and uh, not peak but this array indexed by n okay and yes and then just run run hmm uh, print doesn't it see that i'm wondering array like this that's interesting so print array like this well still something i have no idea um it's some for some reason it doesn't seem to be going above 10. well i'm not sure why is that happening so i need to figure that out as well well but generally uh generally it's it's quite fantastic because yeah this has the floating points which is great and it has the four loops like tiny basic doesn't for instance so yeah um i think we can do something interesting with this computer and to program some to program something uh i actually have a mood generator a chest mood generator written basic that i've been testing on the zx spectrum emulator so i'm wondering if i can adopt this that code to run on this computer that would be quite a fun experience to have quite a quite a fun uh thing to try basically so yeah this is from my side guys thanks for watching until the next time and take care